All right, hello Aries. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support and I send it right back to you. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment this reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for a sign of Aries at this time? What is Aries needing to know at this current moment? Please and thank you. Current message for Aries. I'll go ahead and take both. Ooh. Okay. Oh, wow. Aries. Okay. It looks like you have a cause to celebrate here. You got the Three of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles showing up. Okay, it looks like you'll be celebrating some form of success as well as what I'm getting. Something has been a long time coming. Something that you've been slowly but surely moving towards here. It looks like your hard work and dedication towards something is going to pay off. Because you have uh, some sort of financial reward coming in. With the Ace of Wands, I'm getting like you feeling energized, like you feeling more enthusiastic about life. There's a lot of excitement within your energy here. Either you're feeling this way or you should be feeling this way shortly. And it's well deserved with the Knight of Pentacles here because it's something that you've been working very hard towards. You've been extremely patient as you've been building towards this here. Let's see. What's the current challenge or blockage for Aries? Some of you guys also have a, a reunion with someone, but it's someone that you would be excited to see because whoever this person is, it's someone that you like you can see yourself building a legacy with this person. The only thing that I'm getting, there's a lot of sexual attraction between you and this person, but I'm getting that they're very slow moving. The thing is, is when this person comes in with an offer, like they're serious, they're not playing games. So it's like, if you guys haven't really been, or if you feel like this person really has been taking the initiative, it's almost like they're the type of person to focus on like their career, their job, they're a provider because I'm getting more of a masculine energy here. And it's like they're not going to just enter into a relationship unless they're in a stable place to be in a relationship is what I'm getting. Let's see. What is the current challenge or blockage for Aries at this time? Knight of Swords in reverse, missing out on opportunities here, not listening to your intuition or trusting your intuition. Some of y'all are not prioritizing the right things as well. Some of y'all, it could also be like spending as well, like instead of um, spending your money on the things that you need to, like bills or I don't know, things that you have to take care of. You guys could be misspending or misusing funds here. But there's something about you missing out on opportunities, like opportunities being presented to you. And it's like you're not in a place to seize the moment or to seize the opportunity. So you let it pass you by or you're just allowing some opportunities to pass you by and not prioritizing the right thing. And also learning to trust your intuition better is some of the things they want you to start working on. What is the energy coming towards Aries? We got the Seven of Wands. You feel in the need to stand your ground in a certain situation here. What is this about? Ooh. There's a situation that is like, okay, you're basically saying that you're... Pit so, with the, the Seven of Wands... Okay. Because we got the Four of Wands in reverse, too. So you guys may feel like you have some people like working against you. Intentionally trying to sabotage your stability here. You're basically saying in a certain situation, because the seven of wands is about picking and choosing your battles. And with the nine of wands in reverse, you're basically saying, look, this is a battle I'm not willing to fight. Like you're giving up on something here. You're not willing to fight for something or fight over something. Tell me more. What is this? What's the significance of this? Death in reverse. 
resisting change. And the star healing everything falling into place. Aries, I'm getting like you basically like what I'm getting is I'm not sure exactly what this situation is about. I'll see if I can get more information about it because I'm just getting basically you saying that you're not willing to fight over something. It's not worth it. That's basically what you're saying. And I'm like getting like your mentality is basically like it's not the end of the world. It's, it's not the end. And instead of like focusing on something that isn't working out, you're focusing on your healing and you're doing the right thing because things are naturally or things will naturally fall into place for you with the star here. It's like you're focusing on some healing or you're healing and just finding your way here and it's working out for you. I'm definitely getting like you're making the right decision by trying or just walking away from something here, not trying to fight over something. Tell me more. What else can I tell Aries about this? Yeah, causing sleepless nights. I'm getting like there there was this some of y'all this is romantic, but it doesn't have to be. Some of y'all it could be a job as well. But I'm getting the message that I'm getting, you knew you weren't growing in this place, whether it's a person or it's a job. You knew you weren't going anywhere. Okay, you are limited in the place that you are currently in or you're moving out of now. And it's like it was causing you sleepless nights, a lot of stress anyways. Eight of Cups in reverse. I'm getting that like... Because I am getting you walking away from something. But quite possibly you didn't want to just abandon it. Whatever it is, like, you felt trapped in that situation. You felt like you weren't going anywhere. And you do. You want growth. You want expansion here. I'm getting that, like, you weren't ready to walk away. Or you're just trying to figure out how to do something the right way here. But there's a lack of stability uh, with where you are. I definitely am getting, like, someone leaving a situation that's not serving their highest purpose here let's see what should aries be focused on at this current moment what should they be focused on seven of pentacles in reverse and the king of pentacles in reverse i really am getting like aries they keep stressing the same message uh basically because the Seven of Pentacles in reverse is not good. It talks about, it, it basically represents like planting seeds and rotten soil. So it's like you're trying to produce something off of a ground that you're not able to produce whatever you're trying to grow out of it. It's like you're, you're trying to get somewhere, but you're in the wrong place to get it. It's, you're not where you're, you're supposed to be. You're not going to reach your goal here. So you're needing to re-strategize. And I don't know. It's like getting out of this grief energy as well. This pessimistic energy. I'm getting like you'll like your your thoughts won't be as clouded as they've as they've been. And there's been a lack of progress as well with where you guys have been. It's like some of you guys have been overwhelmed with like your thoughts. It's like wherever you are, it's affecting your energy. It's affecting you physically. It's not healthy for you. I definitely am getting like someone's needing to leave wherever they currently are. If it's a relationship or it's a job, it's not benefiting you in any sort of way. And it's coming to that point either way 
Let's see. Who's currently focused on you at this time? Who is currently focused on Aries at this time? Knight of Cups in reverse. Someone who let you down. Someone who didn't realize your worth. Your true potential. And it looks like this person is one that's offered uh, their heart to you now. They're ready to get out their comfort zone. This is someone who wants to get to know you better. I'm getting that they're going to make some sort of sweet gesture towards you that you don't see coming. But the Knight of Cups, what I'm getting is that you felt like there was a lot of chemistry between you and this person. You really felt like this was going somewhere and then boom. I don't know. They disappointed you one way or the other, either by ghosting you. Um, they're seeing you in a different light and I'm getting like a glow up taking place. It's like you're going to capture this person's attention. Some of you guys will be posting on social media you're capturing their attention and it's going to draw this person back towards you what is what are their intentions towards aries what are their intentions the moon in reverse so they want to reveal something to you the will of fortune you'll be extremely happy about the changes that takes place in this relationship Whatever they're going to reveal to you, I'm getting that they're going to reveal how they truly feel. And it's going to make you extremely happy. What's the most likely outcome between Aries and this person? What's the most likely outcome? Oh. Are you not? Are you going to decide not to give to this? Because we got the Six of Pentacles in reverse and the Five of Pentacles here. You may decide to do them the same way if they did you. And it's going to be a complete shock to this person. But they'll respect your decision. They'll be shocked, but they'll respect your decision. Page of Pentacles. I definitely am getting this person will uh, try to prove themselves to you. Because I see them like adoring you, gifting you. What is the advice for Aries at this time? What is the advice for Aries? Eight of Pentacles in reverse and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. I am getting, it's like, things are not going to get better in a situation. If you're noticing that there's a lack of progress or it's just, Things are not working out with where you are. They're basically saying it's not going to get better. If you don't decide to leave, to do something, to because I'm getting someone is being guided to leave a situation, but they're refusing, uh, refusing to do it. It's not going to get better is what I'm getting. some final messages for you guys. Okay. Ball and chain. Again, I keep getting this energy of someone feeling stuck way down in some sort of situation here. They're not happy. I'm not sure what this is about. Good omen. So we have the albatross. Baggage burden. It can go either way. It's up to you. Let it be detached. I don't know. I'm getting like someone is deeply committed to something. And I don't I don't know if you're just like trying to make sure that you walk away from something or someone the right way. But it's like you're overthinking it. Instead of just doing it. I do see that you'll eventually just do it. Travel. Yes. Definitely. You feel like something is holding you back. Something is preventing you from growing. I don't know if you're afraid of doing something on your own. Or just being alone. Learning to trust your intuition. I, 
I definitely I understand and you're right to do something the right way is what I'm getting but someone I have an Aries here who is being guided out of a situation but you're not taking heed to the messages that you're receiving but there is some sort of situation that you're being guided out of and once you're away from this like things will be going much better for you and so I'm getting like someone where it's like things have been stuck for you. You know that there's no growth in the position that you are in or the relationship that you are in. And it's time to go, but you're just not doing it. So take this as your message to take heed to the messages that you've been receiving and to get out of some sort of situation to, pl to plot your escape. So I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that you... <laughs> that came through for you guys at this time please be sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if this reading resonates with that being said you all take care